All right, guys. So I have four burners set up here. Just some regular open cup uh, Red Bull burners. Each one's got uh, about an ounce, a little over an ounce of alcohol in it. I've got my uh, aluminum can pot. I have a, a tin can pot. Uh, I've got the GSI stainless steel mug and the Snow Peak uh, 600 titanium mug. And so this test is going to be to find out um, which one has uh, the best boil time uh, over top of a, a standard alcohol stove. All the pot stands are exactly the same. All the water is going to be exactly the same temperature because it's all going to be coming out of this pitcher. So I'm going to go ahead and measure up two cups uh, exactly in each one um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to daisy chain all these together uh, just with some alcohol and light them all off at the same time and get the timer started and we're going to get uh, a test on which one comes in first. So we'll be right back after I get these two cups in here. Exactly the same temperature. So we're going to go ahead. We've got the same amount of alcohol in each one of these stoves. So I'm going to go ahead and light them all off here. Get our timer started. We're going to leave these lids on until we get to about five minutes and then I'm going to take the lids off so we can see more easily which one gets to a boil first so there we go they're all lit up all lit up at the exact same time they should all have uh, pretty much the exact same flame underneath of them and uh, the same amount of water at uh, the same temperature which is uh, all right so we got our six minute mark I'm gonna go ahead and pull these lids off of here and just from uh, just from what I can see here close up the tin can actually has more bubbles formed on the bottom of it than any of the rest of these. I uh, decided to include the tin can in the test uh, after looking online a little bit at uh, the specific heats of different metals uh, chart that I found and uh, tin had a specific heat in the 20s and uh, since there's a lot of people out there that, that still do use the tin cans for their cook pots I thought it was something that uh, we shouldn't leave out of this test alright so our tin can has got a hard rolling boil just under ten and a half minutes looks like our aluminum can pot comes in just after the tin can it's got a hard rolling boil now that's not what I expected but that is the result here goes our stainless steel GSI cup starting to get the rolling boil Okay, so just under 12 minutes for our stainless steel GSI cup. Okay, so 13 and a half minutes and our titanium snow peak is just starting to get its rolling boil. So there we have it guys. In this test We've got uh, regular tin can coming in first place, the aluminum can pot coming in second, and uh, 
stainless steel to follow up in third, leaving titanium for last place. Uh, as far as boil times go, over top of a, a alcohol stove. Um, so, I guess this is just with these particular pots. I will say that uh, one thing that I think is important to mention about specific heat is that it does have something to do with uh, the mass of an object and uh, aluminum can pot is very very thin so that could be one of the reasons why it was such a front runner here in this uh, event if that was like let's say if that was a um, uh, Ayamusa pot that was a little bit thicker or uh, some other type of uh, thicker anodized aluminum pot it might not have come in in second place but unfortunately um, I don't have any of those for the test so that's what we used was the beer can pot or, or the aluminum can pot uh, which I think is probably one of the most common uh, easily made cook pots there is and it's also ultra lightweight so that's another reason it's very common so anyway guys uh, there's the test and thanks for watching I hope this helps if anybody has any suggestions or comments or uh, helpful information I'd really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys on the next project